So tell me where you're from. From Calgary, Alberta. And what brings you here? Uh, well, I was diagnosed about 25, 27 years ago with TMJ disorder. Right. So um, at that point in time, my mouth would only open about an inch fingers width. And so I've ever since then, I've just had ongoing pain that flares sometimes and gets really bad. And it's always there, it just to, a, to what degree. Who have you seen for this? I've seen many different dentists. I've probably had 20 to 30 different splints that I wear at night wow. for this. Different kinds, ones that fit the front teeth, ones that fit the bot top, the bottom, ones with little bumps in the middle, just various kinds. I've seen chiropractors because it started going into my neck. Um, I've had physiotherapy where they massage in the joint, which caused me horrendous pain. Didn't get any relief from that. Do you have headaches? Is the neck I have right? headaches a lot, yeah. Can you it, point to where? Usually in the temples. Um, yeah, I live in a place where we get Chinooks as well, so I do sometimes get them over here. But the ones that are associated with this are here. I, I get pain in here. It goes down into my neck. In the back here, I get a lot of pain radiating down into my shoulders. I get big lumps. Just yeah. terrible mess, yeah. So yesterday, we, we measured you. Mm -hmm. We looked with imaging, CT and MRI and EMG and T-scan and took history, did a bunch of examination stuff. And we found that you weren't quite the perfect candidate, that you had damage in your joints, unfortunately. But things look relatively stable and adapted, which is a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. So cartilage wasn't where it was supposed to be, but it was a doable deal. So we performed the DTR for you. It's been about 24 hours. What have you noticed? Well, I came in, you know, after having the MRI and all the examinations and, and things, my left joint in particular was very sore, like acutely painful. Yeah. And right after the DTR, it's gone. Nice. Um, I still have a lingering slight tightness, but uh, I did not wear a night guard splint last night. And I, I hadn't worn it for about three or four nights prior, but I was waking up every two hours so that I didn't loosen a molar. Because the, the one night in 27 years I did not wear a splint, I loosened my molar had major infection, was on an IV for a week, had eventually the extraction of that tooth. So I was very afraid <laughs> to go without it. But nice. That's um, not nice. No, but last night I slept six hours straight without my night guard. Which is unusual. I've never done that in, since I was 15. So the problems arose about what age? 15. Interesting. Yeah. Because typically that's when an individual who's damaged their joints in childhood mm -hmm. That's about the time a female is kind of done with growth and development up in the joint. Mm. And that's usually when things start kicking in and it starts flaring up. Mm. So that's very um, consistent yeah. with what I've experienced and heard and seen over the years. Yeah. You're fully aware that this is not necessarily a permanent fix, but we've caught your bite up to the status of your joints, mm -hmm. right? So the muscles should be working more efficiently and they shouldn't be hyperactive and things should be less painful. You know, we have to be clear here, this does not fix your TMJ, quote no. unquote, the orthopedics, but it gets you to a better place to where the brain doesn't have to keep pushing on muscle. And as long as what's up there, the tissues that are, the bone is resting on, mm -hmm. don't change appreciably over time, this should be lasting. Or, you know, if you get some dental work that throws your bite out, that might hurt things a little bit, or, um, you know, there's a variety of other things like a car wreck, for example, right. and you have a whiplash going on or some kind of macro trauma is what we call that. A physical blow playing sports, you know, that can tear up the tissues a little bit more and change the bite because if you change the joint position, you change the bite. Right. Which stinks. Then all of a sudden the teeth tell brain what's going on. Brain may not necessarily like the way everything is related in space and time, how they interact top to bottom and mm -hmm. moving around and the muscle reacts because brain tells it, I want you to iron that out, make it more even Steven, whatever you want right. to call it. The biggest thing for me was when I decided we're coming, I said to my husband, we're going, you know, dark is fine. He's like, what? Yeah. But the hope of it all, like I said, for the first time, like I don't even know what normal feels like, so I'm still trying to settle into that. All I know is right now my jaw does not hurt on the right side, and that's where typically my pain is. Mm. It doesn't hurt at all. But strangely, have, you had it on the left. The yeah, and I think that's because I was wearing, like, going without my splint, which I know every time I get a new splint, it can either feel decent for the first day or two, but then, or it could be completely throwing me off. 
And so I think the fact that I wasn't wearing it probably put me more naturally where I should be. Sure. And I wonder if that's why it was hitting on the left. But I think th the hope of it, you know, I've seen many of your videos and many people yeah. had immense success. Again, I don't know what normal relaxation is supposed to feel like. I think I need to live with it for a bit and see, yeah, see, see what happens. happens. But it's, it, my bite feels more even. For sure. Like I know, you know, my, because my joint is off, yeah. it's not going to hit fully evenly, but it feels uh -huh. nice and smooth to about here. Yeah. But you I see, it's say. not just when you bite flat down, it's the movements. Right. It's, all the it's stuff not on the jamming sides. up. Yeah. Yeah. The side movements are what primarily get muscle angry, mm -hmm. so to speak, and overworking. Yeah. So it, it's a, it's like a, an orchestration of this super fine digital alignment mm -hmm. is what we did. And we did almost nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, right? Yeah. You didn't take off very much. Yes. Yeah, you know, little by little. By yeah. little, by little. And I appreciate that, you know, you, you said I could build you up, but you're coming yeah. from a long way and I'm not sure it's going to make much of a difference. I right. think that's really... I, my husband and I respect that. But well, yeah, just try to you could break that off, life, and then right? you wind up, you guys would be spending how much money to get back down here. Right. It's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. So all in all, what percentage better would you say you are at 24 hours later? This jaw joint is probably 70% better, mm -hmm. I would say, at this point. I still feel it, but that was because I was doing a lot of wide opening for, sure. for all the examinations. How about the but right side that was really primarily your issue? What's it like? I'd almost say nothing, like I don't feel any pain there. And that's not normal, right? That's unusual. No. No. That's great. And the face, is there anything you want to see? Does your face feel any different? I think it's starting to relax, like in here. Mm -hmm. But it, again, it's hard for me to tell, but I think so. Yeah. Just, What's normal, right? I, yeah. Well, you're only yeah. you're only 25, so it's only been 10 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> Thank you.